So what we do here, we pick it up. This is the live scope transducer. So what we're doing is right now it's in down mode and you can tell because of the angle, but the way that I can tell really easy is you look at the middle because there's three transducers built in, one, two, three transducer surfaces. I don't know if you can see you better that way, but they have a little bit different color on them there. The middle one is where you're looking. So like this, I'm looking straight down. So if I wanna go into forward view, I turn it, I got the bolt a little tight right now just so it doesn't fall out. Now it's facing forward and down, so now we'll be in forward mode. So if I set this back down, what you'll see on the screen here is the forward mode and a little bit, I think it's like five or six feet behind me right now too. So I'm gonna turn this, this is the way that this works. I turn this and you see that right there? So I'll turn it back. That's just the ground. There's some weeds down there and whatnot, pretty soft bottom. And then boom, look at that. That's a school of fish at that 20 to 35, 40 foot. That's a school of fish, and if I turn it wherever the tr on the transducer, wherever this thing is pointing is in line with the actual transducer. So you can actually see where I'm pointing it. So all that I need to do is spin this thing in a circle, and boom, look at that. 20, like I had said, 20, now it's 20 to, let's call it, that's a good school right there, 20 to 50 feet. 25 to 50 feet is a school of fish. And so what I do is I just look down then and wherever this is pointing is where I need to go 25 to 50 feet. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So I'm gonna get up and uh, what I can do is I'm gonna bring my rod with and wax these just so I have less to bring. But what I'll do now is I'll actually walk over and pace out. I'll stand backwards so you can see to get to about, I'm gonna probably go roughly 30, 35 feet, which is probably, uh, probably about here. So I don't have a hole here yet. So now what I'm gonna do is throw a hole in. And we got some thick ice as you can tell here. And the way that I've been doing it, this 24 volt is great. Just use my boot, move the slush away. And then what I do is I just go back down the hole and pull her back up and boom, she's relatively clean. Don't even need a scoop for days like today. So now go back over, get the live scope. We should be able to go back into down view. And you can see if I got on top of the spot. So now we're back over here. So if I put this into down mode now, which again, this needs to be angled down. So I gotta angle it back. Now this surface is pointed down. I can throw this back in. And then the screen's gonna ask me, did I change the down view? I did. And it looks like I maybe scared some of the fish off, but you can see they're right there below me now on the right hand side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fish this spot. But that's how the live scope works. Uh, I've got a big fish coming through, so let's see if we can catch one of these, huh? Hopefully you liked the video. Hopefully it was informative to you on how the Garmin LiveScope works with the transducer. It can be kind of confusing if you're just getting started with it. But if you like this content, please hit the like button. It goes a long way in helping out the channel. Let's me know that you like seeing the content so I can keep creating more. And as always, until next time, take it easy.